Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Joni Young. I'm gonna show you all step-by-step step how to paint this pretty rose heart, working on a six by six piece of acrylic painting paper and a few brushes, starting off with my number four filbert brush. I've got white, black, and some neon red. Be sure to use the colors that you want or follow along with the full list of colors and brushes below this video in the description box. So I'm gonna cover the entire canvas paper with a little bit of black and white. Sometimes it's going to be a little bit lighter and sometimes darker. It doesn't have to be all the exact same shade of gray. The next brush I'm going to be using is my number four flat brush. I'm going to be taking a little bit more white with some water and I'm going to be creating a really pretty sun ray effect or a glowing effect coming from uh, the outside of the heart. And it's easier to do this now and then add the heart after. And at the very end of the video, I'll be adding a few more touches of sun rays tinted with a little bit of turquoise. When painting sun rays, it's a lot easier to start from one point that the light is coming from and then flick out gently towards the outer edges. It'll look a lot more realistic. I've got a tiny little mop brush or a little stipple brush right now and I'm just tapping lightly in with a bit of turquoise and a little bit of black. You're going to want to use less black because it's very very strong so you just need a little bit of that with a bit more of the turquoise. I'm going to come in with a second layer of highlights using more turquoise and just a tiny bit of white. Be sure to use more white and more turquoise if you prefer your heart to be a little bit brighter and I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and full around all the edges and the outline so I have lots of room to add some roses. The next brush I'm going to be using will be a mini liner brush. You can use a round brush as well for this step. And these are very, very easy, basic rose shapes, starting off with black and a little bit of my red. I'm just gonna twirl around, making little circles, getting bigger and bigger. So starting in the middle, little circles, and then twirling round and around. So you're not making one solid color. You can see a little bit of that green through. I'm gonna do this randomly and sporadically all around the outer edges of uh, or the outline of this heart. Later on, we'll come in with some lighter uh, red and whites towards the center of the heart after. But this is the first step of just using a bit of red and black. Sometimes I'm gonna use more red and sometimes I'll have a little bit more black. This way it makes the painting have more depth and more shadow within all these roses. So again, all I'm doing is creating lots of little circles twirling around um, for my roses. And that is really an easy and effective way to paint some flowers if you're just wondering and um, thinking you can't paint roses. This is really, really easy. Everybody can do this no matter what stage or level of a painter you are, you can all follow along. I have the whole heart covered. I'm gonna come in with white and I'm gonna take a bit of red along with that white and I'm using uh, quite a large amount of paint. You can see on the end of my brush, I've got quite a bit there to work with. I'm not pressing hard, I'm doing this very gently and I'm doing the same technique, twirling inside of those roses. So I'm not gonna over blend anything, otherwise I'll lose um, all the different colors and shades that we've got there. So you wanna have your dark base and then come in with some highlights just by twirling your brush around in circles. So already you can see it looks quite pretty like this. So I'm just gonna continue um, all around the heart and I'm gonna load my brush almost every time and clean off the outer edges and sides of my brush because it's really starting to um, work its way up towards the handle of the brush. So just be sure to take your time and get the excess off of your brush and reload with a proper amount if you want to have lighter pink roses, then use more white than red, and vice versa. If you want to have bright red roses, then use less white and just more of the red. Now, there are lots of different shades of red that you can use if you don't have this neon one. I'm using Neon Red by Holbein. 
um, another or a few other suggestions that I can offer you guys for nice reds are crimson red, cadmium red, and there's also scarlet red. Those are just a few, but there's plenty of other options out there. And of course, you can do this painting in different colors. You could even paint blue roses, purple roses, orange, yellow, any color that you want, even just in black and white. But I think the red looks really pretty with this uh, black and white background and those soft and subtle uh, sun rays. And of course I use turquoise because that is complementary, red and green are complementary colors. So I'm gonna begin working on the roses inside the heart now and I'm going to start overlapping over top of those existing ones. This time I'm using less red and more white so it's going to appear um, 3D and seem like it's uh, popping out a little bit in the center and it's fuller. I also thought this would look really pretty to have the edges a little bit darker and deeper in color and then get softer and more um, light like a bubblegum pink towards the center but that's just me and it's personal preference so feel free to do whatever you want if you want to keep your roses darker in the center that would look just just as pretty so i'm going to continue along putting them all over um, and overlapping a little bit don't be afraid to overlap when you overlap it's going to be become and appear more 3d so just remember that you won't ruin your painting by doing this and you can keep going over and over because acrylic paint um, dries quickly and it's really forgiving and the more that you overlap the more depth um, you'll create okay so i'm going to add a few more highlights inside some of these making them a little bit more 3d looking with extra white just because they were all starting to look the same light pink color now I'm going to wash that brush off and go back over to my little number four flat brush and I'm going to start adding a few more sun rays around the edges and a few little hints of turquoise here and there just to make the colors complement one another just a little bit better. So I'm tinting my white with a little bit of turquoise so it has this fresh minty beautiful glow and I'm using a tiny bit of water on my brush, so I'm just gonna go right along the edge, carefully not touching any of the wet red paint of the roses. I don't wanna blend that out. Maybe it would look pretty, but in this case, for this particular painting, I don't wanna do that. I just wanna make it look like that light is coming from um, underneath or just around the edges. So I'm carefully doing this, and you really want to make sure that your brush is properly load it up each time and so that you're not pressing too hard and having um, a tricky time with trying to get the right effect with your brushes so you want to have an equal amount of water and paint on your brush you shouldn't have to push too hard if you have to push too hard it means that you don't have either enough water or you don't have enough paint so it should be a very easy light pull and flick out uh, towards the edges of the paper. Now with a little bit of turquoise, I'll add the finishing touches to this painting and call it done. I think this is so pretty. I'm gonna take the tape off and you'll see what it looks like signed and all finished. So I think this would look nice in a little frame and I'm gonna do that and hang it on my wall. Wishing you guys happy Valentine's Day and happy painting. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my art and my tutorials for more. Thanks, everybody. See you all next time. Bye.